Hello and welcome to Project Rome. My name is Terry White and in this short video we're going to take a look at working with photos. So let's go ahead and create a new document based on one of our templates. We're going to go ahead and create a graduation card. There's, I saw a couple of cool ones in here. We'll just go ahead and double click on one to open it up. Now that we have this graduation card in place, of course the template is not our graduate. It's not the person we want to use. So let's go ahead and just click on that and hit the delete key. And of course, that's cool that they apply the baby picture there. We'll leave that one there for now, but don't forget to change it. Now let's go ahead and insert our photo. Now we can drag and drop, or we can just use the insert file. And notice it's even going out to my file system and finding things for me. So there's the picture of Shannon that I want to use. So we'll just double click. And here's the great thing about Rome. It's helping me out by letting me know this document came from a multi-megapixel camera and it's too big. Do, it, do I want to resize it to fit the card? Absolutely. Go ahead and bring it in and make it fit so I don't have to do that later. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it in place. We'll just go ahead and size it to the spot where I want to put it. I want to put it right there. But we have a couple things we want to correct. First of all, I've got the image left to right where I want it, but it's of course extending too far down, which means it needs to be cropped. Now, the great thing is I can go ahead and size it, but that's really stretching it. We don't want to do it that way. As I hover over this, I get little widgets to do kind of skewing. And again, these would be great for special effects, but not this time. And last but not least, if I needed to rotate it, I have a little widget for that as well. So these are all great, but what I really need to do is crop the photo. So let's double click on it, just like we do with most things in Rome, and you'll notice we enter the photo editing mode. We, have even, we even have layers on the left-hand side, so we can add layers of multiple objects that we can stack on top of each other. And more importantly, now when I go ahead and drag this up, I'm telling it that this is where I want the photo to end, and I get the ability to click the little crop tool to go ahead and crop the photo off right inside of Rome. Now, while we're here in the photo editing mode, I would love to pull her hair back just a little bit from the photo. So we'll grab the stamp tool, and oh my god, yes, I can go ahead and just click on the background to sample it, and then I'll just go ahead and clone some of that background into the hair. In other words, we'll just pull the hair back ever so slightly and just that easily inside of Rome. So once we're done, we can just click out of the photo or click a different tool to get out. And now we've got our finished card. Of course, again, don't forget to replace the baby photo and you're ready to go after you change your text to whatever you need it to be. That's it for a quick look at photos inside of Rome. Thanks.